All right, it's the broker that gratitude guy. All right, today's topic, be sure your word is good. Now, there's been many ways that people have said that over the years, be true to your word and this type of thing, but I was thinking about it today. Be sure your word is good. And I was thinking about all the ways that we communicate. It used to just be phones, actually person to person, having a cup of coffee or, or eye to eye, but now we have text and voicemails and emails and Facebook communication, all these different things. And I was thinking about how many people don't necessarily uh, follow through the way they should. So I want this message to be today to not only be grateful for the skills and the skill sets that you have, but be true to your word and be sure your word is good. I think about all the time people say, uh, hey, I'll get right back to you and let me call you back. And one day somebody mentioned this to me. I thought it was such a great line. They go, Dave, just imagine how the world would be if everybody just did what they say they're going to do. And I thought, what a great point. I'm not saying I asked you to do it. The person said to me, hey, let me call you back tomorrow. Well, did they call back? I look at emails that are sent out in text and everything. And what percentage of them do you get back? You get a few, but you probably don't get back as many as you would like. So I want you to think about being true to your word. And I want you to think about what that word represents. And be grateful that you have that reputation and that word and that a person and that accountability to make sure that people know the kind of person you are. I think back on uh, many, many years ago, two experiences happened to me that I found really interesting is that I decided to sign up to go skydiving. And it was a static line jump where you jump out of the plane, automatically pulls the parachute, opens it up for you. So there's eight of us signed up. So we, we confirmed everything. And as we got closer and closer, the people started dropping off left and right. And then the day of the actual skydiving appointment, there was four of us that were going. So I show up there a little early and guess how many people were there? Yeah, it was just me by myself. So I went ahead and went skydiving by myself and a couple of people didn't even call and later some things had come up and that kind of thing. Well, later I did a tandem jump and it was another group of about seven or eight people. And this time there was one guy that showed up besides me, but there were six others that said, oh yeah, well sure, I'm going to be there. I can't wait. I'm excited. Now, whether it's scary or not, that's not the point. The point is, is that if you say you're going to do something, do it. And I think about not lowering yourself to somebody else's level. If somebody doesn't follow through with you, don't let you not follow through with them. And that's why I really want it today to be, be grateful for the reputation you have. Be grateful for the attitude you have. Be grateful for the friends that you have. But be really grateful for your word and be true to your word and make sure, just be sure your word is good. So that's the message for the day. Have a grateful day. Make sure you're writing in that gratitude journal. If you need one, um, go to thebrooker.com. You can get one online. And also hit that subscribe button if you'd like to describe to these daily videos on YouTube. Have a grateful day. Take care.